Here we are on the road with Brown and Brown, and we're here with Brother Bill, Brother Red, and my beloved mother, who is now, how old are you, Mom? Oh, I hate to say, but I'm 81. 81 years <laughs> old, and you're still cranking along. And, well, this is the new 81, maybe. Huh? Well, I don't know if it's the new 80s, 81. the new 60. That's right. Well, anyway, um, w welcome to Brown and Brown on the road, and we are in front of Ed. Bishopberg High School down in South St. Louis, off of uh, Hampton, Hampton and Eichelberger. Uh, place close to my heart, it's where my daughter goes. And um, it's a uh, very established, good high school, you know, great sports teams, and a lot of famous people went here. One in, incredibly famous person. You want to say who that oh, was? Oh, um, Dorsey, right? Yeah. Jack Dorsey. He founded Twitter. He did indeed. So, he also founded uh, Square, the uh, credit card reader that all the taxi cabs have. And, um, so, uh, Mr. Dorsey, if you're listening. I got to tell you, it's, um, he, he started off in the year 2000 with his first company. He went to uh, New, York University, New York University or something like that. Yes, it was New York, New York University. Mm -hmm. and, um, I read just it. An, and then he, he got all the way to the end, and then he said, well, I'm going to start my own company. And from and like there... Bill Gates and Steve yes. Jobs. Well, that's what a lot of other people did, too. And he was born and raised in St. Louis. And Jack, uh, his, I think his uncle, if I'm not mistaken, is a priest. And um, In Cincinnati, yes. And mm -hmm. Twitter, of course. Now, before it was Twitter, trivia question, uh, what was it called before it was Twitter? And I think my brother Bill has the answer to that. TWTTR. That's true. But that didn't flow well. So I believe Matt said, I, I, I believe Jack said that, um, uh, we're going to change it to Twitter, and it, the rest is history. Yeah, he's and well with that. No what doubt. do you know about Bishop De, De Well, Burn? yes, you're focusing on Jack Dorsey, which is really good. But I read about Bishop De Berg. I was curious about him, and you know, he had four first names, <laughs> which amazed me. Okay, the first name was Those Lewis. French do things like that. The first name was Lewis, and the second name was William. Okay. <laughs> and the third name was Valentine. And then his last name was DeBerg. And he was born in Santo Domingo, Haiti. Uh, French colony. 1766. And he only lived there two years and was sent back to France, in Bordeaux, France, to be raised by his grandparents. And the name connection, I'm thinking maybe his grandparents had him baptized under another name, and that's why another name was added, Valentine. Anyway, he was quite an individual. Um, he grew up there in Bordeaux and went on to Paris to the seminary. After that, he ascended very quickly in the Catholic Church he um, went to Rome, and then he was appointed to Baltimore, and then came from uh, to New Orleans, and uh, was appointed to establish the diocese here in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. And that diocese, get this, it extended all the way to the Rocky Mountains. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. <laughs> and when he came, he went to the uh, what's now the old cathedral, and he said it looked like a what, a broken down old barn? Yes, <laughs> yeah. but what did he establish very famously? St. Louis University. St. Louis right University. 1818, it's 200 it years is. old. Yes, right around there. and he lived to 67 years of age, which mm -hmm. at that time uh, was um, quite old. Pretty Any old. scandals or anything with uh, oh, Bishop? No, 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 no. I, I don't know. <laughs> no. He was a good some bad, bad people under him, but you know, not mm -hmm. his fault. Yes. Yeah, but no, it's a beautiful day out here, and DeBerg High School is a good place to good place to be. Now there was somebody else that went to DeBerg as well. John Hewlett. John from, Hewlett. Uh, shout he's out the to announcer his. for the Cardinals, and um, he's the guy that uh, you know, now batting third for St. Louis. That's a lot of work, I'm sure. I mean, it's, it's day in and, and day out every 
every home game. And um, he's a D DJ too. And I ask Bill about the mascot. What what is the mascot? What is mascot? I don't even know. Do you know it? Yeah, it's uh, the Cavaliers. The uh, you know horseback, the Spaniard on horseback. Um, well, my daughter's on the soccer team here, and we had the whole soccer team over to our house. Jeez. Or at least the JV soccer team. How many people? Sleep over. I didn't count them. Looked like a house full. A house full? <laughs> I thought she said 24. In, yeah, in one house? possible. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if they all slept there. Was a there, fire marshal uh, uh, alerted to this? The last thing they wanted was me around, so. Oh, you know, that's I, a good I point. Got out of there quickly. It was a bonding. Yeah, type have, uh, thing for their soccer team. Right, the soccer team has this every year. And, eh, I was happy to help out. They cleaned it up all right. Well, anyway, a beautiful day out here in St. Louis, and um, the Berg High School has been here for how many years? Probably 1940. 1940. Started so. south of here, and then mm -hmm. they moved to this uh, in the 50s. And um, yeah, all you DeBerg grads. Mm -hmm. uh, Cavaliers, go Cavaliers. Yeah, go Cavaliers. All right, now we're going to go someplace else, Mom. Where we're going to go? On the road with Brown and Brown. On the road with Brown and Brown. Well, we'll you see. You tell me. I will tell you as soon as we make get a, there. Make it a surprise. I'll make it a surprise. Okay. So don't change the channel, for goodness sakes. We've got really good stuff coming up. I'll guarantee it. All right. Yeah. Adios. Here's a great place in St. Louis that uh, not everybody knows about. This is Francis Park, which is uh, if you want to go for a walk or play tennis or walk your dog, as I do often. Um, it's uh, actually very close to Ted Drew's. Ted Drew's is right up that way. So uh, Francis Park was named after David Francis, who was a remarkable St. Louisan. He was. Uh, Mayor, governor, Mayor, governor, and, Louisiana purchase. Yeah, he was in charge of the 1904 World's Fair here. And uh, was he connected to uh, the, yeah, the World's Fair? He's connected to the World's Fair, a big and this figure. was his land, and he donated it to the city, and they they built a park and they named it after him. And uh, one of the things I find most interesting about David Francis is he was ambassador to Russia during the Russian Revolution, 1917, Jeez. 1918, 100 yeah, years know. ago. And he, uh, uh, by all accounts, uh, supported the Tsar, the whites. He was on the wrong side. He, <laughs> he predicted there's no way these Bolsheviks are ever going to amount to anything. You know, communism in Russia has no future. Um, hey, nobody's perfect, right? <laughs> but um, he was a great guy, great park, uh, just love it here. If you go up uh, Nottingham a little bit uh, around Christmas time, this is where you'll find Candy Cane Lane, mm. which is all lit up, all the houses. Um, oh, it's one of the best uh, uh, places to see the uh, decorations for Christmas. Uh, so yeah, come down here around Christmas time and check out Candy Cane Lane. And um, it's just a great, uh, great park, great, you know, they're, they're nice tree lined streets. Yeah, beautiful homes. Everywhere. A lot of uh, churches. And the homes are all well maintained. Yeah, this is St. Louis Hills. This is a very nice neighborhood. The yeah. pear trees, that Bradford pear tree is in bloom right now and, and it is very, very pretty. There, Here's one coming out behind me. And yeah. a quick shout out, we got Nottingham School right across the street there. Yep. And a shout out to all Voted the students there. that are in class and they have their lives in front of them where I'm, I guess we're looking in the rear view mirror a little bit more than the, uh, than maybe the, you speak for yourself. Hey, wait a second. But anyway, oh. Otis here wants to say oh, hello. No, come on now. All right, good. Okay. So, yes, here Otis is. Hey, Otis. He's always the star. Everybody uh, calls and asks about Otis. He's still doing fine. Um, he's going to turn 100 this summer. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's getting elderly. He's got he's got the gray on his beard here, and uh, but you know, hey, there's, old age has its advantages, right? <laughs> Nobody expects much from you That's when you true. get to a certain age. Yeah. 
So. We, we give Otis a lot of slack. <laughs> <laughs> no new tricks from Any, this old dog. Anything he yeah. does, that's fine. That's right. Yeah, we love you, Otis. We Hi. love you. Mother, how many acres is this? Uh, did say, uh, Francis. I, I'm not sure. 60 that acres. 60. Oh, that's a lot of I'm land, not... too. 60 well, acres. Well, let me take another good look at it. There it is. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. day out in St. Louis, and then now we're still on the road with Brown and Brown, even with little Otis. And the daffodils are in bloom also. I forgot to mention them right All here. Right. Well, audios from St. Francis Park, and where we go next, we'll never know. <laughs> if you've been hurt in an automobile accident, I probably know what you're thinking. Maybe I can deal with the insurance company on my own. But remember, the insurance company has a staff of professionals working for them. We're the attorneys of Brown & Brown. Don't be a victim twice. To get your car fixed right, obtain a rental car, and get compensated for your injuries, you should have us working for you. In Missouri, dial all threes, 333-3333. In Illinois, dial all eights, 888-8888. And a brown, a brown, if you can't come to us, we'll come to you. Hi, here we are in front of the world famous Amagetti's restaurant on the hill. And with us, we have the owner, Dominique. Dominique, um, tell us a little bit about your, uh, your place? Well, thank you. Amagetti's has been in, in existence since uh, 1921. They moved to this location. The, uh, the bread that you taste here is the recipe that the Amagetti family brought to St. Louis back in 1921. We still do it the exact same way. No chemicals, no preservatives. There's nothing in there you can't pronounce. And your family's been here since? So my family's been on the hill since 1906. Uh, they had a grocery store down the street for about uh, 60 years. Uh, starting at, in uh, 1912, where a lot Zia's of people. Where Zia's is now. Yeah, where Zia's yeah. is right now. Yeah, yeah. and uh, tell us about a typical day at Amagetti's. Oh, a typical day at Amagetti's uh, starts out with uh, fresh baked bread that, that started out about, we'll call it midnight, that's the beginning of the day, right? Uh -huh. And um, the bakers are done early morning, about seven o'clock, crew comes in, starts getting ready to make sandwiches, filling catering orders. You know, we cater office, uh, meetings and, yeah. and parties and things like that. So uh, we start getting things ready and by noon we're rolling. Yeah, we, uh, we come here sometimes and there's a line out the door. You, uh, you really do a business. But it's worth the wait. The buses come. We see the buses <laughs> waiting outside. Yeah, there's a lot of tour buses that come to the buses, hill and uh, sure. see some of the sights and enjoy the food. The hill's a wonderful place. It's a famous place and you're, you have a great location. You're right across from the church. I think he put me so. here for a reason. Keeps, a, <laughs> keeps me next door to keep an eye on me. Monsignor Bomarito or <laughs> yeah. God? Uh, God? Both. Both are pretty Goal. close to each yeah. other, right? Yeah. And your number one seller here at Amagetti. Oh, the Amagetti special, special by far. It was created by Mrs. Yeah. Amagetti back in the uh, mid 1970s, and it still rocks today. Oh, and what's in an Amagetti special? An Amagetti special consists of ham, roast beef, salami, um, mm. cheese, mm. lettuce, tomato, mm. pickle, onion. Mm. Pepperoncini mm. <laughs> and, a, and a special sauce that Marge Amagetti created back in the day. We still make that to the exact same uh, flavor profile that she created. And that's a secret, right? It's a like secret. Like Coca-Cola or the KFC recipe. It, it, is, it is a secret. Right. It's it isn't yes. Thousand Island dressing or anything, is it? <laughs> no, Hopefully no, not. No, of no, course no. not. <laughs> it's in a safe somewhere. And, uh, but uh, no, it was a beautiful day and a beautiful restaurant. And guess what? I think I'm hungry. You're hungry. What do you think, Ed? 
Let's go. I'm definitely hungry. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's go. Let's Come on, guys. From Amagetti's. Here we go. Let's walk. Yeah. Time Excellent. to get fed. Mm. Adios. Mm. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Hi, here we are in front of St. Ambrose Church. And the church has been here since, I think it was 1926 it was built. Does that sound right? Yeah, there's been a parish here long before that. Um, if you look over my shoulder here, you'll see the famous statue of the immigrants, the Italian immigrants, the, the father, the mother, and their baby, and one suitcase who came to this neighborhood um, around World War I, the first uh, even before that, um, they were uh, drawn here by the work, and it's called the hill because they used to walk up the hill to uh, work in the mines here, the clay mines, where they, they make all the beautiful bricks you see on the homes here. And uh, this, of course, church is um, always the center of a community, especially for immigrants. Sure. Um, they still speak Italian. Uh, I think they had an Italian mass here just Did until they? recently, and they still teach Italian at the school uh, where I sent my daughter, St. Ambrose School here. She graduated from the school uh, a couple years ago, and uh, it's, a, it's a great part of the neighborhood. Monsignor Bomarito mm -hmm. is the uh, pastor, and he uh, he does a good job. Uh, Monsignor Bomarito is noted for his masses, which are over in about 30 minutes. Oh. <laughs> so if you're in a hurry, <laughs> you want to watch a football game on Sunday, come to Mass at St. Ambrose. It's a very efficiently run operation. And you, you'd enjoy the inside. It's beautiful. The stained glass, the statues, the, um, I don't know, the, the history of it is just, you know, very deep and rich. And uh, this neighborhood, I always say this neighborhood's like, uh, a small town in the midst of the big city. It's, it's people know each other. They say hi to each other when you walk around. I've, I've lived here about uh, 15 years now, and I, I really like it. And I don't think I'll ever live anywhere else. This is, uh, this is uh, just a good place to, to live. It's got everything you need in a community. And you can walk from your house to? Yeah, I can walk <laughs> up here in about 10 minutes. There's coffee shops. There's uh, Amagetti's, grocery yeah. stores. Um, De Gregorio's is a couple corners up. Uh, Milo's, which we'll talk more about later, is right behind, um, right in front of us, behind the cameraman. Sure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is uh, this is just you feel home here. It's, it's a homey place mm -hmm. and uh, land of smiles. And at Fast Times Ridgemont High, no matter where you're at. It's a place to be. <laughs> or like Cheers, you know. People, when you walk in, you know, everybody knows your name. Mm. And they say hi. They're happy you came. <laughs> and they're happy to feed you, too. Well, if you have money. Don't try to get, don't be a freeloader and try to get stuff for free. But anyway, we're going to go from this location on an extensive walk, which is about, probably the cameraman could just turn around. Yeah, I just turn the camera and then we'll be at Milo's. <laughs> and we'll be at Milo's. And what's, what's famous about Milo's? Uh, Bochi. Bochi. Bochi, however you pronounce uh. it. I always pronounce it wrong. So uh, but that's what everybody knows it for. Perhaps we can, um, I, I've never tried it before and I'm, I'm willing to try it. Have you ever done it? Oh yeah. It's like shuffleboard. You just have a you try to get as close as you can to the marker ball, and uh, it takes skill, which I don't think Dan's going to be able to. Hey, wait a second here. I'm physically it. coordinated. Yeah, no hand-eye coordination. Hey, well, so, yeah. well, anyway, we're going to go to Milo's, and I'm going to roll a couple balls, if we're allowed yeah. to do so. Yeah, if it's and open. If it's open, yeah. and then maybe even have a cold beer. Yeah, no drinking on the job. Ah, oh, wait a second here. Not permitted. <laughs> brown and brown. Rule book, look at subsection three, paragraph A. No <laughs> drinking on the job. But you know, after five o'clock, and you know it's five o'clock somewhere, mm -hmm. so. What is it, Peroni? Is that the Italian beer that people like? Yes, Peroni. Peroni, I, yeah. I've had a couple Tasty of those before stuff. in Italy. Yeah. yeah, 
Yes, it's good. It's good yeah. beer. I can't really talk Walker. taste a, a part though. The only thing I don't like is ale. Ugh. Yeah. Ever since one of our employees mixed up some chemicals in a bathtub, and then came and said, "This is ale," and like an idiot, I took a drink of it, and it was the most putrid. Ugh. Yeah. I almost gagged, and I'm just like, I almost fired him too. But I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Um, but oh my gosh! I mean, if if you're making beer or ale in a bathtub. I don't think it's made for human consumption. That's just well, my opinion. On the hill, they certainly made a lot of it. Oh, that's right. Prohibition. <laughs> that's right. And the wine. The center. Yeah. The, the word is that Al Capone had his guys that uh, would come in here and you know, straighten. Didn't want to get on the wrong side of Al. Mm. Don't sell anything without his permission. Mm. That's Otherwise, it. you're. Your bullet-riddled corpse might be found somewhere on the street. Ah, that's yeah. come on now. But anyway, the hill is a pleasant place to be, and we're going to go to Milo's right now, and then afterwards, who knows where else we're going to go. Yeah, that's right. Stay tuned. Maybe you never we'll, know what's going to happen. Maybe we'll go, go by your house. Or... No, I don't think we'll go by my house. Maybe we can see Otis, the dog, again. Yeah, got to drop Otis off, I guess. Oh. All right, yeah. adios for the time being. Here we are in Milo's restaurant and uh, bochi bowl, is that how you say it? Yeah, I don't know, bocce, bochi, something like that. But anyway, the way you play it is you roll down this little ball, which is your lead ball, and then you gotta roll down the big ball, and try to get as close as you can. And usually it's on the honor system, most people agree, okay, this is the, the, the one closest, and if you get too closest, then you get two points, and et cetera, et cetera. But, <laughs> If an argument ensues, that's when you bring this in, okay? So you measure, right? Whichever one's closest. So you might need this. And if you still don't agree, then you start beating each other <laughs> over the head with these things, which hurt. But, you know, teaches, teaches the other person a lesson about courtesy and gentlemanliness. And since this is a, an Italian place, I have Peroni beer. Please don't sue me, Peroni. I'm, I'm endorsing you. And um, we have to drink Italian beer if you're here. Is that right? Or? Uh, no, I see Bud signs, Bud Light. I, okay. I don't think they really care which beer you drink. It's, oh, it's Italian beer. As long I mean. as you're not, uh, you know, fall down drunk when you leave the joint. Now tell, so. me, tell us the time that uh, you had the St. Louis Blues. Now this is years and years yeah. ago. Yeah, not that long ago, maybe two years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. they were all back here in the corner. At least a lot of them were. Mm -hmm. Saw so, uh, Brett Hall and Kelly Chase. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, the gang, and I got a picture of my daughter with Brett Hull, but mm. I think everybody in St. Louis has a picture with Brett Hull. That's, that's not very unique. Well, he is a spokesperson. He comes, if you're like, yeah. if you have a suite at the, at the Blues game, he's, he goes from, I think he goes mm. from suite to suite. And, he does. Uh, hospitality and everything yeah, else. Yeah, season tickets. He, he How knows. many pictures do you think he's had to have in selfies? Oh, my mm. goodness. He's right up there with Elvis. He's probably be one of the most photographed people. <sighs> Ever. Well, he's easily uh, recognizable, too. Yeah, everybody knows who he is. Right. That's for sure. Well, the heck with it. Let's see about um, Bochi see Bowl. Play? I don't know how to do it, but let's give All it a right. shot. Okay, we're at Milo's Bochi Court. Now, my brother here needs to learn how to play. Okay, so I'll teach him how to play. Take your marker ball, which is this little yellow one, and you toss it down here. All right, so it rolls down. Now, what you want to do is get as close as you can to that ball. Um, and then you mark and you get points. So you go first. So we take turns and I can knock you out of the this way. This is the first time I've ever attempted to do this. So if I fail miserably, <laughs> give, me a, give me a break, okay? It's like badminton too, that right. uh, um, you can knock the other guy out of the way. All right, my turn. Play it off the wall. So, yeah, a little closer. You're up. All right, here I go. One more time, and uh oh, you're gonna knock me out of the way? No, no. you knock yourself out. Of Ouch! The way. This is exciting. This is mesmerizing. 
I can't wait till the next ball. You can even knock the marker ball out too if you, you know. I'm gonna be here all day now. <sighs> I'm addicted. Leagues, you know, play co-ed. No, nope, too strong, a little long. All right, let's see if I can get here. <laughs> I think that's a good one. I think that's perfect. Get in there, get in there. No. Nope. One more ball apiece. This is very exciting. A little distance. Ha! Ah! Ah! No, that's way too strong. Really? Got to have a touch. Got to right. get the touch. OK, watch this. This one's going to go right in there. Oh, he <laughs> cheated. I hope you caught that on camera. No. Oh. Perfect. See? I mark four. Right. We're going to come on down this way. So as you see. It's like Mr. Rogers, come on down. Mr. Rogers, see, I think I won. I don't think so. I think I'm closer. I don't think so. Uh, I think I, 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 you're now, dreaming. Now my... I'm purple, right? Uh, no. <laughs> 29. Yes? And you are... See, you're not even on the yardstick. So not only do I get close here, I get close. I think I'm probably closer to you on every one. Yeah, I am. So you get points for every one? One, two, three, four. Yes. Four to zero. At Victory. Least we tried. Victory. Hey, uh, Try not. Do or do three. not, says you know, Yoda. It, it, I guess you, it's a drinking game, is that right? I mean, it, any game you can play while holding a beer. <laughs> <laughs> like bowling, bocce, that's the whole principle of it, is that you play the game while you are <laughs> drinking. So yes, it is a good game for that. Bowling is the uh, yeah, Bowling is the ideal, yeah. All right, we'll do. Yeah. Well, this is the first time, and I got to tell you, it's a lot of fun, and we'll be back. That's right. What the heck? I'd like to see how the masters do it. I'm sure it's, it's it is kind of like a shuffle ball. A shuffle it ball. is, yeah, you try to get as close as you can. There's a touch, and you can knock the other guy out of the way. It's, it's it. kind of like badminton. Or, you know, so. well, from Milo's to where else now? On chocolate. The chocolate, chocolate. Mm. Yum, I mean, yum. to tell you, my stomach's right going to burst. But first and foremost, we're going to enjoy the nice day we have today and the hospitality, hospitality? Hospitality. hospitality of Milo's. Because they were very nice of, of reserving this entire space for us. So Joe, the owner, is the alderman here. So yes. be nice to Joe. Yes. Yeah. A good man and a good, man. good owner of this place. Good owner. All right. Next stop is chocolate, chocolate. Mm. Ah! <laughs> okay, the other thing you got to do is pick up your balls. Oh. So. All right. No jokes.